Tonight, our top story is a new charitable event founded at Great Falls High, the Winter Walkathon. And later we report on the bison giving tree, one of the longest traditions held at Great Falls High School. This is your Bison News with lead anchors Dugan Mahoney and Grant Hudspeth. Along with field correspondents Jake Amo and Ryan Johnson. Your news starts now. Hello, I'm Grant Hudspeth. And I'm Dugan Mahoney. And for our first story, our own Great Falls High BPA Club put on their second annual Winter Walkathon in support of Special Olympics. On to Jake Amo for more details. Thanks, Grant. It was below freezing on December 10th when over 12 students came together to support Special Olympics. This is the second year in a row that Great Falls High has put on a Winter Walkathon. It hopes to raise money for their charity of choice. Business Professional America clubs across the United States raise money towards this worthy charity. This Winter Walkathon is just Great Falls High's way of putting a cool spin on it. We interviewed Ms. Milton, the advisor of Great Falls High's BPA chapter. What is BPA? It stands for Business Professionals of America, and it's clubs around um, America <laughs> that compete in business competitions, but also do social and um, things with their community um, to help build leadership skills for kids. What is the Winter Walkathon? The BPA Walkathon is to raise money for Special Olympics, and we get sponsors, and we walk around our historic Gibson Park. We also talked to Faith Quinlisk, the founder of the Winter Walkathon. Why did you start the Winter Walkathon? Um, okay, I just thought it would be something fun to do to raise money for Special Olympics, because that's BPA's main fundraiser. What does BPA mean to you? Uh, <laughs> BPA is just a way to meet other people and to learn about business and to become a leader. I like the tournaments. I like competing and then seeing where you stand along the other people in Montana. And this year, the Great Falls High BPA chapter raised over twice the amount of money towards Special Olympics. They hope to continue their exponential growth for years to come. I'm Jake Amo reporting for Bison News from Gibson Park. Back to you, Dugan. Well, thanks, Jake. They really did look cold out there. If you want to help support Special Olympics, you can go to their website at www.specialolympics.org. And if you are interested in joining BPA, you can talk to Mrs. Milton in room 106 at Great Falls High School. Sounds like BPA is doing some great things. Yeah, they are. From one of the newest traditions to one of the oldest traditions, we go to Ryan Johnson live at Great Falls High with the Bison Giving Tree. Thanks, Grant. I'm Ryan Johnson. You're reporting at Great Falls High to interview Rachel Bohannon to learn more about the Bison Giving Tree. What is the Bison Giving Tree? The Bison Giving Tree is Great Falls High's version of an angel tree where students who are in need of, um, or financial need maybe, or emotional need of some extra cheer at Christmas time are nominated for the tree and then they are allowed to come up with a wish list and their tags are put on the tree and then the wishes are granted. How is the Bison Giving Tree funded? We are funded entirely by donations. Uh, there are people who will donate money, there's people who donate uh, time, there's people who donate uh, materials like fabric for stockings or candy or, or things like that, but we are 100% uh, donation. Now that the holidays are over, how did the Bison Giving Tree turn out? It went well. We had 103 kids who walked away very, very happy. Uh, we've gotten back lots of thank you notes, lots of hugs. Um, it really meant something to them that people here at the school care enough about them to attempt to make their Christmas a better one. And in many cases they did. They, I think most kids on the tree got what they wished for and um, some even beyond what they expected. We had some very, very happy kids. Mrs. Bohannon has been a staple to the Great Falls High community during the holidays. I'm Ryan Johnson reporting for Bison News from Great Falls High. Back to you, Dugan. Thanks, Ryan. It's all about giving back. Thanks for tuning in. Those were our stories for tonight. This has been Bison News. We'll see you next time.